Okay, this is a quick video on Sasha Montelez's work in progress, media importing, and library integration of UPnP. Uh, the idea behind this project that Montelez is working on is that, in theory, it, it would be really handy if only one instance of Cody in your house actually had all of the setup uh, for, you know, all, uh, importing all of your files and everything like that into the library. And all the other instances around your house were able to use that one, that one instance. Or alternatively, if one person came by the house with their own little tablet or something like that with their own videos, it would be really handy if all the other instances around the house were able to pull from that tablet into the library right away. Um, so we're going to go ahead and test this whole idea out. I've gone ahead and installed uh, the, the, the version of Kodi with this, with this work in progress already installed on my Windows PC, which you can see uh, right, right up there, uh, and on this Android tablet. On the Android tablet, uh, as you should be able to see, I've got a folder with TV shows already imported. And on the Windows PC, I've got a folder with movies already imported. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the TV shows folder from the tablet. And uh, just, to, just to make things exciting, I'm going to mark things as watched. Uh, two, two things is probably good enough. So I've got two things marked as watched on here so you can see how this works. So first you go to Media Sources, which is down here at the bottom. Uh, media imports by media provider and I have three providers listed there's uh, one in the living room uh, one on my Mac uh, and one that's called localhost which is actually what this tablet is so I'm gonna go ahead and select that add import and I'm gonna import TV shows seasons and episodes finally uh, I'm going to go ahead and click synchronize now it's going to take a minute for whatever reason. I'm not sure uh, why this is, but for some reason when it first starts retrieving episodes, it takes quite a long time. Once, once it gets through whatever it's doing at the beginning, it, it goes fairly quickly. Uh, but for now, I think we just have to wait. Okay, so uh, we finished scanning, and now we're going to go ahead and take a look and see just how well that worked. It looks like it's pretty much exactly the same. Here uh, you can see, oh, maybe, here you can see we have the TV show listing. If we click recently added, we get a list of recently added shows and episodes of various types. If I go to recently added here, it's pretty well the same exact list. And as you can see, uh, these two shows are listed as watched. Uh, and they're listed as watched here. Let's see if I can get this on there without... You can see they're also listed as watched here. One thing that is notable uh, is that for some reason, oh, for some reason, uh, the artwork seems to be visible on my tablet but isn't visible for Adventure Time on the screen. Uh, Big Bang Theory seems to have no problem with artwork in both cases. Um, so, like I said, it's very much a work in progress, but seems to work fine. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it the other way. This has got movies on the computer, but no movies on the tablet. So I'll go ahead and go in the tablet to System, uh, Media Sources, Media Imports by Media Provider. Uh, and then I'm going to choose XBMC Nate, which is the name of this computer here add import and I'm only going to select movies um, and here it is retrieving the movies as we speak so if we go back to the main screen we scroll over and there are movies already added um, needless to say it's actually adding more as we go but for now it's already got quite the list going on so that's how uh, that's how media importing works. It's really pretty simple. You don't have to worry about setting content or anything like that anymore. Um, it all just kind of works. Uh, in theory, hopefully in the future, it'll all just kind of work a little bit more easily without any of the breakage that you see. Uh, but you know that's that's why it's called a work in progress.